Ah, the not-so-humble microwave. The one item out there that gives every student the ability to avoid actual cooking. Obviously, we all know how it works. Coils inside emit electromagnetic radiation which vibrates the water molecules in your food. The resulting friction then heats your meal or pops your popcorn, giving you some instant yumminess. Obviously, it's a useful device, allowing us to reheat Thanksgiving leftovers and warm up ramen in a pinch. But with convenience comes danger, as people all over the world are heating up items that have no business being heated. We're not talking about watching cool sparks bounce off a CD or watching a grape turn into a fireball. No, we're talking about the things many of us don't even know aren't okay to stick in a microwave oven. Things such as frozen meat. That's right, keep your hands off your meat because microwaving it could end you up in the hospital. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, if you are using a microwave to defrost meat, you've got to cook it right away. That's because microwaving your meal won't necessarily get rid of microorganisms. In fact, what ends up happening is the outer layer of your meat's cooking while the center stays warm and moist, and not in a good way. This creates a danger zone temperature according to the USDA, where bacteria and parasites find the best conditions to reproduce. So cook your meat right after defrosting if you want to avoid running to the bathroom while getting the runs. But frozen foods aren't the only microwave no-no. If you start heating up eggs, you're going to have a bad time. That's because microwaving your egg will not get you the hard-boiled goodness you're looking forward to. Instead, you'll find the results a little more... No, sorry a lot more explosive due to a buildup of pressure. In 2018, a British teenager was left temporarily blinded in both of her eyes after an egg she was microwaving blew up in her face, also causing severe facial burns. She's not the only one, as the internet is littered with stories of unsuspecting individuals ending up with first, second, and third degree burns just for trying to make a poached egg. The principle also applies to packaged foods such as sealed ramen and instant meals. But while we can pull the lid back on those, we can't with eggs. So take our word for it and stick with some good old fashioned boiling. Or just avoid eggs entirely. Oh, and metal. Please avoid metal, because metal objects such as tin foil, cutlery, and containers reflect the electromagnetic radiation produced by microwaves. This causes sparks and electric currents that could end up short-circuiting your microwave. This is the best case scenario. The worst is a fire bad enough to burn your house down. How bad is the risk, you say? Well, consider this. In 2019, 100,000 microwavable plates distributed through the Indiana Food Aid Program were recalled just because they contained traces of aluminium in their makeup. Traces that were deemed suitable enough to turn said plates into fire-starting hazards. Don't want to turn your house into a flaming inferno? Don't stick metal into your microwave. But hey, you know what puts out fire? Water. So there's no way microwaving that can cause any kind of harm. Well, yes. But actually, no. Picture this. You heat up a glass full of water in order to make some tea or some oh-so-good hot chocolate. But pulling out your cup, you notice it looks perfectly fine, as if it hadn't boiled at all. Right before you check just to make sure, it explodes in your face. Congratulations, you and your third-degree burns have just informed you that you've experienced superheated water. Water that has heated up quicker than bubbles could form, becoming explosive once said bubbles break the surface tension of the liquid. It's a problem that has become such a common hazard that the American Burn Association has released awareness campaigns on the matter. So we can't defrost our meat, cook our eggs, stick metal, or boil water in a microwave. So we might as well just put nothing inside, right? Well, not even that. It turns out that microwaving nothing in your microwave will still damage it in the end. That's because the electromagnetic wave creating components known as the magnetron will eventually break if said waves have no food to be absorbed into. Without the food, the waves will just bounce back into the component and wear it out bit by bit over time. So what happens once it reaches that point? Will it catch on fire? Will it explode? Will it catch on fire then explode? Nope, that's pretty much it. Not following the hazardous theme of this video so far, your microwave will eventually just stop working. Pretty anticlimactic, ain't it? But hey, we're not bashing the microwave. It is still a pretty nifty machine that provides us with a lot of convenience. But you've got to be informed of what to stick in it to avoid getting food poisoning. 
second degree burns on your face, burning your house down, getting third degree burns and worst of all, having to buy a new microwave. <laughs>